Hello everybody out there on the amazing YouTube world stroke land type thing. How's it going? Thanks again to everybody who's been um, adding to and assisting me through making your inquiries for things you want me to talk about. If you want me to talk about anything, shove it in the comments down below. Um, put it in a private message to me and I'd be more than happy to contemplate it and add it to the list and all the rest of that. But today I want to read about, mm, sorry, talk about this um, question I've been given from a YouTube user who is called Aleph Bayeth. And this goes back to like the roots of the channel, the roots of what I've been doing here, namely talking about your cult and religious type stuff. Now it says here, Hello Nick Dutch. Hello. I should like to know what you consider to be the correct association of each tarot key to each Hebrew letter, assuming that there is one. I ask because the planetary correspondences to the double letters are illogical stroke incorrect when the Golden Dawn associations are applied. Looking at them, they appear utterly contrived. They do not correspond to the classical stroke um, uh, what's the word there? It's to do with Ptolemy. <laughs> the lyrical order of any of the orders of any of the versions of the uh, Sefer Yetzirah, for, for example. Beth is not the magician. Gemel is not the prin uh, priestess. Any thoughts? How do you work with the keys of the Kabbalah LVXAB? Um, okay. Uh, you've used one very interesting and important word there. Contrived. It's all made up. There's lots of different systems about tarot and Kabbalah and the rest of it. And they're all made up by people because they think this card seems to mean something. Okay, well, this symbol seems to mean something. Let's put the two together and hey, presto, they now mean more or less the same sort of thing. That's all that people do. They just connect ideas. Now, if you take, for example, the fool in the tarot, if my memory serves me correctly, there are three separate positions the fool can be in, depending upon which set of mysticism you're reading from. It can either be at the beginning, before the magician card, it can be at the very, very end, after the universe or world card, or it can be just before the universe or world card. And it has different meanings. Now, when I'm reading tarot, when I'm, or when I'm mucking about with tarot one way or another, I place the full card before the magician card because it's it seems to imply a sense of carefreeness that comes before taking life seriously. And a magician card appears to mean like um, your graduation day or maybe your first day in your new job. You know, when you're starting to take life a little more seriously and you're trying to be um, sensible. You know, you're going to make a few mistakes, but you're trying to be sensible. So I see the progress through the tarot as being descriptive of states of being. So whenever I tried something new, when I started working on Keen.com and LivePerson.com for the first time, that was the magician card state of mind and state of being I was going through. Okay? Um, so that's kind of like the way that I associate the meanings and the feelings of the cards with things that happen in regular day-to-day -day life. Now, Crowley et al., you know, he's taken the cards and he's applied a certain meanings to them. He's created his own style of tarot pack through cracking whips over the head of poor old Lady Frida Harris uh, to try and make a certain meaning come across. That's what all the correspondences of tarot, of magic, of the elements, of astrology is about. It's made up by people. And they make even more complex sets of ideas, and then they test them when they do ritual, meditation, prayer, and all the rest. Just uh, very quickly, here's my pussy in these sweets, okay? Yes. Okay, so... If you think it's if you think these things are contrived, you'd be absolutely totally right, totally right, absolutely. Uh, so, is there any fixed structure? Here we go. Little pussy doesn't want me to do much talking today. The bottom <laughs> the bottom line is no, there isn't. All right. 
you've got to work it out for yourself. And if aspects of the Golden Dawn you like, great, use it. If aspects of the Golden Dawn stuff you don't like, then hey, presto, don't use it. Yeah, a bit of a soft stuffy pussy again. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay, what else did you say? Yeah, uh, your question is is basically about are these things logical? Um, none of this is logical. When we're dealing with symbology, um, it's more, it's almost like paranoid schizophrenia, okay? Because um, the, you get these, you get the Hebrew letters which are just black marks on a, on a piece of paper, and you as ascribe a certain meaning to it um, deliberately as a result of your own reading and basically your own uh, mythological and religious associations. If you're following any particular system, those systems are being created to affect a particular change in an individual. Now, that could just be um, turning them into religious devotees of any particular sect and or cult. Or alternatively, um, it could be to have some kind of change in the mind of the follower. So you've got to work out whether that is a change you really want to happen. And also, you've got to prove to yourself that that change can actually happen as a result of following that set of symbols. So it's up to you. If someone says you've got to follow the tradition, give them the middle finger. Because all traditions are made up by people. And you plainly have a very good quality and very in-depth understanding as to what occult symbolism is basically about. So it's up to you. Basically, your oops, sorry, forgive me there, I just completely dropped the camera. You know, your occultism, your magic, your spirituality, that is up to you and not up to anybody else. Not even my little self fluffy pussy. Alright? <laughs> so, good fortune, God and or Goddess and or none of the above. Bless. Um, have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever. Speak to you in a while. I think that's signing out for now. And if you've got any further requests, put them in the comment section and send me a private message and I will talk about them. Bye for now.